Hey guys, this is um episode two of the Honkai Diaries. Sorry, this one came out a lot later. During the earlier parts of June, I was very sick, and I just now have the time to do it, and I just now started getting better. Uh, yeah, this is the second part of the series that I'm doing, where every month I just detail and record how my account progress is going. As you can see, we're almost 64 and a half, and into 65 finally, which is pretty good. Um, in terms of character updates, yeah, I got Locha. He's already 70 out of 80. His stats are pretty good for, for what I want him to do. For the light cone, I have perfect timing on him as I think that one is pretty good on him. Actually, really good on him. You just have to keep building effect resist because the more super resistance you have, the higher this number is going to be. So you need, you need to keep building effect resist, which honestly is not that bad on him because because as you know, his trace, right? His trace gives him the the chance to resist product control debuff increases by 70%. So that's good. And then you keep stacking on its effect resist and you can have a locha that like basically says no to a lot of things. Uh, speed is 105. I am working on it. Uh, defense and attack is pretty good. I know the attack looks really low, but it works, right? Because locha is a character where you don't want a lot of attack on him. As weird as that sounds, like you, you may be thinking, oh yeah, I need a lot of attack for the healing. Dude, do you know how much Locha actually heals? Uh, right now, my whole Locha heals for like 2.7k, and then the field heals for like 7 something, right? That is a large sum of healing, right? You don't really, you don't realistically need 3k attack with Locha. 2.2 to 2.5, a real comfy amount, right? But anything greater than that is overkill, and you, you should really focus on your other stats and... You should like try to allocate them better because why have that much attack and dumping the healing? It's not that necessary. Locha is not going to be dealing damage regardless. So why force it, right? For traces, as you saw, right? Um, I focused on the side traces and to, to unlock those, right? His skill, I leveled up his skill and his talent because those two are where everything is. I started to level up his ult, then I realized, oh, there's no point. Right. The skill is where the healing comes from and the talent is where the other extra healing comes from. So I need to level up those more. The ult, I'm probably going to like, you know, I guess level up the ult. But just these two are the main things. Skill and the, and, and the talent, right? In terms of relics, right? Still working on the relics for him. As I said, I am choosing to run the two-piece two-piece instead of going four-piece cowboy for the extra speed, extra attack. Me personally... I don't want all that attack. Throughout my friend group, we have three different loaches all running different setups, right? Me, I chose to run the energy regen one, right? I chose to run the energy regen build on locha because I wanted to get into a certain rotation that focuses on the field uptime. With this build, I have the field uptime from around 60 to like 70%, something like that. It's a really high uptime that I have on the field with him. And that is the primary focus with this locha to just constantly have the field up and ready to use, right? That is the build that I, I go for him. So what I do is, let's say I start off from memory, memory of chaos. You start off with like half of your um, of your energy already there. I would basic attack, and I can use a skill, and there's my O, right? Or I can basic attack twice. The enemy hits me, and oh, I have my thing. Or I can just, you know, basic attack and skill. It's whatever. The ult is really important because I want that uptime. That is why I have this locha built like this. I find it really comfortable and I really enjoy doing it. Uh, of course, I try to feed into as much effect hit resist as I possibly can throughout my pieces. The body, of course, is outgoing healing because he needs that. Boots of speed because he needs that. Uh, I just need to start leveling up the speed boots, but you know, it, it is what it is. For the planar spear, I have imaginary damage boost. This, of course, can be changed. I just didn't feel like grinding on another one, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is what my locha looks like. Uh, his current effect hit resist is 44.6, which is really high. And I like that it's really high. It's really good. Um, let's just cover the new additions. Uh, Bailu, right? I got Bailu's Eidolon. 
I, I got an extra copy of Bailu, so Bailu is currently E1. Um, this asshole, Jupard. We got Jupard, right? And I wound up dumping so many resources into Jupard. Like, he's 70 out of 80. These are what his stats look like so far. I, of course, have his like on because I've had it for a long time, right? But Jupard, man. What do I say? about Japard. He is a character. Uh for traces, yeah, I uh it kind of looks the same like Locha, but oh, what this is Locha. It kind of looks the same like Locha except yeah, I boosted his ult as much as possible. Like this is his purpose. He's not really going to be dealing damage. Even though I, I got this upgrade, it actually does make him deal a decent amount of damage, I will say, with this skill. I will start leveling up his skill and other things, but yeah, Locha is a... Uh, not Locha, I keep saying Locha. Why am I saying, saying Locha? Whatever. Japard. Japard is a interesting addition to the account. He is quite strong. And I know Japard is strong, because it's Japard. That's just how he is. Um... It's not much to really say about him. I'm focusing trying to get his defense up to at least 3k. With the build I have right now, he already has a uh, two point something shields, right? But of course, I, I, more is always better. Um, for him, I try to actually go for the uh, for the optimized version that has the 134 speed. But so far, I have not gotten a single boost into my speed relics so he's probably gonna end up like 133 speed which i guess i can fix by uh like i guess replacing my headpiece or my um my headpiece or my gloves see if i can get an extra speed and just dump it into that but yeah the chest piece defense this is ice i need to change this into defense so i can gain the like 3k but this has speed and you know how it goes blah 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 it sucks Energy regen rope, of course, because yes, Japard needs it. So, yeah, Japard has been serving me quite well on Memory of Chaos whenever he is needed. I, of course, still use March because having the two shielders does make a difference. Um, Asta, I know last time Asta was in the dirt, but I finally decided to level up my Asta. She is stronger now. She's running a break set, of course. Uh, this can definitely be used some tweaking. It's not done yet, but hey, uh, I leveled up her skills and her tra her traces finally. So Asta is an actual character now. This is eight, 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 right, right, right. It's looking pretty good for Asta. Um, the main thing with my Asta is her break effect. One forty nine break effect. That is massive. Whenever she breaks something, ooh, it is a chunk of damage. An absolute massive chunk of damage. And I'm so glad how my Asta came out. This is like fantastic and i wouldn't have it any other what else yukong yukong is a new addition of course right uh i'm still trying to work on my yukong but these are her stats so far and they're pretty good actually i need to pump up her defense and her attack but that speed ooh, <laughs> that speed jesus christ that speed honestly i have no idea what to do about that that speed is just enormous but get into her traces. I started to level up her traces a, a, a little bit, trying to spread it around, but I need to focus on one thing. So I'm gonna need to figure out that. I do need to unlock this, so I will have to ascend her at some point. But her traces are quite low, but I need to definitely pump some into stat. Her Eidolon, I only got her at Eidolon 1, unfortunately. I would have liked to get her at at least Eidolon 4. Truly Eidolon 4 would have been ideal. Even Eidolon 2 would have been sweet, but whatever. I can always get more. Ignore this, right? I had to switch this and put it on Locha so I can activate the effect of the light cone to increase the healing. And you may think, that's not a lot of healing. It heals like an extra 500 more. And honestly, I'm all for that. So I just need to farm another cowboy headpiece for her. And yeah, that's honestly it. another cowboy headpiece. But damn, dude, 138 without the four piece from the cowboy? Damn, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Of course, uh, the stats for her are like crit rate, crit damage, crit rate, chest piece, speed boots, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know, the spare imaginary rope energy recharge. You guys already know what's going on here. We are trying to uh, 
make her into a sub DPS kind of character, right? Um, I think Herda is a character that I am gonna have to level, right? Her traces and everything, because I'm starting to realize I'm hard stuck on Memory of Chaos Six, so I do need to start leveling Herda. The thought crossed my mind to level the funny gambling idiot, and I may have to. Which I probably will wind up doing. Leveling her is gonna be a gonna be an interesting time leveling her. And, and I know I'm gonna have to do it. Like, I'm gonna have to level her and Pela. Like these are two characters that desperately need to be leveled and and dealt with on my account. I've literally been ignoring them for God knows how long, son. And honestly, yeah, like these two need some attention. I even have her at Eidolon. She's at Eidolon 4, like. There, there's just so much. Like, there, there's literally just so much damage here that I'm missing out on. Last new addition would be Arlen. I finally got myself an Arlen, so yay to that. That's pretty much it for the characters. Oh, um, also for the, after eight weeks, I decided to get on the fall of a, on the fall of an Aeon from the Herder shop. So there is that. Um, store wise, there's not a lot really to be said. I, uh, down to a hundred tickets now or on this. I'm really low on jades because I've been re I've been refreshing like every day for the past two weeks to make sure Japard is up there and you come like two weeks have been put into these two characters right here. That's two weeks worth of jades. So honestly, it's been a it's been a really long time with these two. But it, it's worth it. I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend that it's not. I just need to continue to like level up stuff and just and just make sure my team is like stronger honestly because floor six is like a real tough time for me i can't do floor six i just don't i i just don't have a lot of uh i just don't have a lot of a, a, a lot of damage like to be honest with you my damage truly isn't there and and to be frank with you there really isn't nothing that i can do about it you know like i need dps characters so i will definitely be getting blade and and kafka i've been thinking about getting um inhibitor like dan hang like lightning dan hang i like it um imaginary dan hang but i'm like eh. It really all depends how things are starting to shape up, but ooh, the way how things are looking, it's looking a little bit rough. I will not pretend, but yeah, like honestly, this month update is not really that much to really to say. The events have been super fun, Garden of Plenty. Um, what I plan to do now is, to be frank, I'm probably gonna start farming the Crimson Calyx and start pre-farming for Blade honestly because i am going to need a lot for when blade drops so yeah i'm definitely going to start farming these as if it's nobody's business but yeah i think that's it for this episode there really wasn't much to go over but just a small update to how things have been going and where my account is i can comfortably get to memory of chaos 6 Right. Um, there's of course the like I guess I was like I'm sure some like new relics and stuff. I of course got some like energy regen ropes and things along along. So that's nah, that's pretty cool. It's always nice to have the energy regen ropes as like a just in case like a random unit their their build requires it for that run. So hey, it's something that's always good to have. But. As you can also see, I'm like deathly low on credits, so I need to figure out a way how to get credits and all that jazz. But um, 
Honestly, yeah. Oh, and I'm 480 at this. Um, what I plan to do with these Undying Starlight. Hold on, where's the shop? With the Undying Starlight, I plan to buy her. Uh, not her. Um, the battle isn't over. The, the the Harmony one, just so I can put it on on my Tingyun or my or my Yukon. That's also good, so just in case I get Bronya as well, you know? Having that Harmony Light Cone is also pretty good. I eventually plan to get, like, one of one of everything, but that's, of course, going to take, like, forever, right? A, a while. Being 480 right now is, like, pretty crazy. But, yeah, that is it for this month's update. Um, I guess this will serve as June and July. I'll probably make a small one for when Blade comes out. But uh, yeah, you guys have a good one and I'll see you at the end of this month. Later.